Um, good afternoon, Dr. Zhang, Dr. Yang, and Dr. AJ. Good afternoon, doctors and friends from India. Thank you all for taking time to join We Doctor and Practicals nonprofit anti COVID 19 distant lecture. And as we all know, the world is facing coronavirus crisis. As the epidemic became pandemic, We Doctor launched the Global Consumption and Prevention Center and integrate medical resources from home and abroad to offer assistance to both Chinese and international friends overseas. Moreover, our platform has felt the bridge between Chinese doctor and overseas doctor to share Chinese experience and overcome the difficulties together. And after Italy, America, and Germany, experts will share with us their supporting experience towards India. Today, we are honored to have invited Dr. Fang Qi, Fang, Fang Qi and Dr. Yang Yeping to join our lecture as lecturers. And we are also grateful for the help from practical group members who do hard work in organizing this program and help coordinating. And now let's welcome Dr. AJ to introduce the two lecturers and again join us for us. Welcome, Dr. AJ. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to this session today. We hope you and your families are doing well and staying safe. Welcome to today's webinar hosted by Procto in collaboration with Nat Health, OMAG, TSI, BOH, API, AFPI, ISCCM. I am Dr. Ajay Alexander, and I am the head of, <clears throat> I head the medical team at Procto. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, knowledge sharing is more important than ever before. And the large scale shift to social distancing around the world means we, doctors, to need new forms to access to content regularly. In response to these new and extensive demands, Practo is pleased to launch Practo Connect platform, where we will host a series of webinars for the doctors by the doctors from across geographies. The goal is to learn from the experiences and mistakes from experts across the world and get some practical guidance on understanding and flattening COVID-19's curve. Our topic today is experience and learnings from the coronavirus outbreak by the doctors directly from China. The speakers today are medical experts from China, Wuhan. The first speaker is Dr. Yan Yibing, in, he is an emergency medicine specialist, and he is also the medical team leader at the Wuhan 7th Hospital, China. And Dr. Fang Quinn, who is, the doctor, who is a doctor of psychology. Before we start, let me explain how we can interact with us during the webinar. If you have any questions during the present, presentation, please do write to us, and we will take it up in the session at the end of the uh, presentation. We will also send you all the relevant links after the event, including a link to the webinar recording. Now we begin our today's session. I would I request Dr. Fang to uh, start the, his presentation. Dr. Fang? Please. Dr. Fang, please open your microphone. Yes. Thank you, Dr. AJ. First of all, uh, thanks so for all of, all of you to listen to my uh, the experience of diagnosis and treatment practical for the novel covid from Mia. 
my English is not in, good enough to speak for all kind of the. Uh, uh, so I gave a speech for uh, Chinese, for part of the Chinese and uh, part of uh, English, and uh, the Chinese part will translate by Dr. Yang. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, 呃，新冠病毒呃肺炎的传播，那个现在目前已经不再是呃一个地区或者是一个族群的问题。我们希望通过呃这次的一个授课呢，能够将我在新冠病毒治疗中的一些经验呃给大家分享。多特杨，麦克，有麦克风。The spread of COVID-19 is not a problem of the region or an ethnic group. It is now a global problem. Uh, today, I want to share some experience of fighting this disease with you and hope to provide some help for future treatment. This theory is based on the uh, seventh edition of our country's treatment guidelines. Uh, 这一版的指南是应该是我们工作中最重要的一个指南，呃，其中我自己的部分经验我会重点讲解，并用红线标红。Uh, according to my experience, this is the most important guideline for our actual clinical work. Some of my own experience will be marked with red lines. 呃，首先我们知道这种呃新冠肺炎是应该是由冠状病毒呃引起来的，所以在其实我们这种冠状病毒并不是第一回见了，我们其实在 MERS、SARS 已经中间见过很多次，呃，大家也应该对 SARS 和 MERS 应该也是有一定的了解。嗯、uh, ，First of all, I want to introduce the basic information about coronavirus. Uh, in fact, it's not a new uh, family of vi uh, virus. Uh, many other diseases have been called by this kind of virus, if, uh, for example, MERS, SARS, and uh, so, uh, so as COVID-19. Now we know that the symptoms of the COVID-19 with other diseases the biggest difference. 像我们出现的有些发热、疲劳，然后完之后这种干咳，这应该是它的一个比较典型的一个临床症状。呃，但是这些都没有绝对性。我们知道的，呃，包括所有的流感的症状，包括疼痛、鼻塞、流鼻涕、喉咙痛、腹泻，呃，这些都会有。Uh, the most important symptoms of COVID-19 is uh, fever, tiredness, dry cough, and but uh, patients can uh, show various uh, symptoms. Uh, uh, some may have aches and pains, also congestion, runny nose, so short, and dehydrated. 每六个啊，我们自己的经验大概也是差不多的，就是六个中。呃，有一个可能从呃比变得很严重，然后完之后这个呃出现呼吸困难的这些症状。呃、uh, ，According to the data and our experience, about one out of every six people who get COVID-19 can become very seriously ill and、uh, develop difficulty in breathing. 在呃老年人和这些。呃，就是说有基础疾病的，比如说高血压、心脏病，尤其是糖尿病。呃，对于糖尿病病人来说，我们看起来它是，呃，整个的会加重病情，并且恢复的时间和长度都会增加。呃、uh, ，for older people and those with underlying medical problems like， 呃、uh, ，high blood， 呃、uh, ，high blood pressure， h e a l t problems or diabetes。Are more likely to develop serious illness, especially for diabetes.、Uh, from our experience, 
diabetes patients can solve uh, more seriously symptoms and will last for a longer time. Now, we know that now, from what we actually see, the virus is how it is spreading. First, it should be from coughing, 呼吸这些病毒可以在鼻和口的飞沫之间，然后完之后，呃，尤其是在这些新冠的患者的咳嗽，呃，还有这些打喷嚏啊，包括这些呃飞沫，然后完之后进行传播的。嗯、uh, ，How does COVID-19 spread? 呃、uh, ，The most important source is the droplets, especially for 呃、uh, droplets from patients COVID-19. Uh, positive. Uh, if some patients with COVID-19 uh, cough, uh, the droplets came out of their mouths and then to another people or to the surface of the uh, objects, and then uh, other people uh, get the uh, droplets, then it's spread. Uh, 这些, 在我们产生的飞沫落在的这些物体的表面，然后完之后，我们人再去正健康人，然后完之后再去碰到这些物体的表面，然后完之后再重复的触碰他们的脸部、眼睛和嘴巴的时候，就含有这些黏膜组组织的时候，可能就也会感染。Uh, if the droplet stand on the objects or surface around the、uh, patient. Uh, healthy people can uh, touch the COVID-19 by touching the objects or surface, then touching their eyes, nose, and mouths. We have found that if the virus is in a temperature that is high, and if the air in the air is enough to breathe, it can be spread over the time that it is contained. Uh, we also find some uh, patients containing uh, in high uh, concentration of uh, the virus, and for a long time, they also can get this uh, virus uh, disease. Uh, uh, for this reason, we will uh, detect the virus concentration uh, in our ward every three to five days uh, in order to prevent the uh, spread from patient to patient. Uh, uh, we will have a lot 呃，消杀，但是，呃，事实上，我们有些部分时候还是在会在物体的体表检测到活的病毒。Although we conduct uh environmental uh sensitization uh every day, but we still can find some uh living virus in on the surface of some objects. 我们可以看清楚的看到这个，呃，它跟遗传特性就是应该是跟 SARS 和 MERS 是不同的。呃、uh, ，It is very clear that their genetic characteristics are significantly different from SARS and MERS。呃，它对紫外线和还有热是比较敏感的，五十六摄氏度三十分钟，呃，包括一般的消毒液，我们常规的消毒液，像乙醇。呃，过氧乙酸这些都有，应该是有效灭活的。但是我们要注意到氯定是呃灭活病毒方面是没有效果的，所以我们在病房内一定要注意我们的消毒剂是不是是氯定的。也如果有的话，这种是应该是对于这病毒是无效的。Uh, this virus is sensitive to ultraviolet and heat. Uh, it's polar to 56 degree centigrade for 30 minutes. Uh, 
and lipid solvents such as ether and other satellite can uh, disinfect uh, this virus. And uh, but uh, we should pay attention to the uh, color high dye, uh, color hex dye. Uh, this kind of satellite is uh, uh, not effective in inactivating this virus. So we should pay attention to this problem. Uh, 感染的新冠病毒的一个感染者应该是他是一个最重要的源呃感染源但是我们现在目前也在一直在做的一件事情就是关注无症状感染者呃 uh, the most important source of infection is the uh, patients infected by the sick COVID-19 but uh, another important problem is the uh, symptomatic infected people 嗯 所以我们现在,尤其是因为这个病人存在气溶胶的传播 病人的持续排放会导致气溶胶的浓度持续升高 uh, Because of the spread of this disease uh, mainly from the droplets of uh, patients so uh, open the windows and uh, it's very important for uh, home and uh, ward uh, because many patients uh, stay, were, uh, were told to stay at home but if the uh, windows are uh, closed for a lot of time, the concentration of the virus can be uh, go higher and higher, and it's not a uh, uh, good trend. So we command to uh, open the window uh, uh, to make the uh, concentration uh, to be lower. Uh, 一般来说是一到十四天，我们现在一般呢，呃，绝大部分病人应该还是三到七天就会发病。The combination of period of this disease is about one to fourteen days, but mostly uh, will uh, have manifestations uh, from three to seven days. 嗯，主要症状还是发热，然后完了干咳和这个乏力。少数病号呢，就说是呃严重的病号，像这种流感的症状都会发现，然后完之后在严重的呃会出现呼吸困难或者是低氧血症。The uh, main manifestations include fever, fatigue, and dry cough. Uh, some patients can have nasal congestion, runny nose, so sore, and other uh, symptoms like flu. Uh, some severe cases mostly develop uh, dys dyspnea or hypoxemia after one week. Uh, 我们也有一部分病人, uh, 虽然数量不多, 但是这些病人可能从头到尾, uh, 没有就是说是轻症患者, 第一个没有出现肺部的严重表现, 第二个呢, 就是说是如果说出现了像很轻度的, 这种甚至你没有察觉到的一过性的疲劳和流感症状。We mm, have seen some patients who were uh, uh, very severe uh, and critically ill. Uh, they have some mild manifestations. Uh, their fever can be uh, even barely uh, noticeable and just a little of uh, fatigue. 我们从目前的结果来看呢的确是很多的病人不会转化为这个肺炎这仅仅是这个出现了一点点像这种变或者说是变重或者说是就是说是变重然后完之后这个
，应该是绝大多数预后良好，呃，很小的一部分可能会变严重，在病程的发展。Uh, to the majority of the patients, uh, they will recover. Uh, they, uh, they are in, uh, they are mild uh, symptoms can manifest uh, manifest during the uh, period. Uh, only low fever and mild fatigue. 呃，对于孕妇和儿童，其实我自己个人的这因为因为这个是，呃 ，based on the guideline， 嗯、呃、，so， 嗯、呃，孕妇和儿童的这个我的这个经验不是特别足，但是从指南上面来看，孕妇，呃，的确这个，呃，我所治疗过的，就是或者见过的孕妇的这个预后跟其他的正常病人没什么太大区别，儿童的我目前知道的。呃，的确症状都比较轻。嗯 ，and about uh, uh, pregnant people, uh, uh, pregnant women and uh, uh, children, I didn't uh, treat many of them, but from the guideline, we can see that uh, the manifestation of uh, pregnant women has no uh, significant difference with other people uh, at the same age. Uh, but for children, uh, most of them are mild uh, patients. Uh, 对于这种新冠病人的检查里面，我觉得其实最有意义的，或者说是我目前来说，我觉得最重要的，其中有一个就是淋巴激素，淋巴激素。I think most important uh, laboratory tests should be the liver side count uh, decreases. 呃，像呃，我们这些出现的其他的，包括 d e d e m e r 呃，包括这个像这些出现的这些问题的话，嗯，可能都没有太多的一个指向性的意见，就是，但是淋巴细胞的技术是可以对这个病人的预后和严重程度是会可以的。会有指导意义。呃、uh, ，there are many other laboratory tests we can use, but uh, they are not uh, very specific. And uh, but the liver side count decreases. Uh, the extent of the uh, liver side count decreases is very important for the prognosis and uh, the uh, recover. 呃、uh, ，我们。重症的，对于重症的这些病人的话，会出现炎症因子的升高，呃，尤其是在严重和危重的病人的时候，炎症因子一般会升高。Uh, in severe cases, the dimer increases and the peripheral uh, peripheral blood e m p h a s i z e progressively decrease. Uh, for some severe and critical patients, uh, often so uh, elevated inflammatory factors. 呃，我们关心的其实和更多的是如何鉴别它是新冠肺炎。呃，那我们知道这个新冠肺炎的检测的话，我们现在目前的呃检测的几个指标呢，就是一个是呃核酸，也是现在目前的一个呃相当于确诊的一个比较重要的一个途径。We detect the uh COVID-19 uh mainly depend on the Uh, nuclear test, nuclear test. Uh, but we now know, from our research experiences, that from the nasal breath, the test should It is more accurate if specimens from lower respiratory tract are tested from our experience. 嗯、呃，对于 IgM 和 IgG 的检测，我们可以看一下。嗯、呃，这是我刚刚自己做了一个图。Uh, this picture shows the uh, test uh, results of IgM and IgG. 嗯、呃
，当我们发现这个核酸检测是阳性的时候，这个病人一定是感染了这个新冠。If the nuclear acid detection was uh positive, then this patient uh had contact to uh contract to uh COVID-19 virus. 嗯，但是我们核酸阴性的时候，呃 ，IgM、IgG， 嗯、呃，可能就有不同的指代意义。But if the nuclear acid detection was negative, uh, we should pay attention to IgM and IgG. 嗯，所以 IgM、IgG 不能作为一个明确的一个诊断标准，而只能作为呃新冠肺炎的一个辅助诊断标准。Uh, the detection of IgM and IgG can't be seen as a uh, diagnosis criteria, but we can, uh, they can help to uh, di uh, diagnosis. Um, we also know that the COVID-19 virus is called COVID-19. 呃，它必定是会有肺炎。嗯、uh, ，from the name of the uh disease, we uh we know uh this uh this virus can cause a pneumonia. 嗯、uh, ，所以它的 CT check, chest imaging， 呃呃，必定需要异常这一类。嗯、uh, ，the patient says imaging often shows。Uh, some symptoms. 呃，所以我们呃，如何从胸部 CT scan 上面呃了解到这个呃病情的，去知道如何去了解这个病情，呃呃非常重要。嗯 ，CT chest imaging is very important to diagnose patient. 稍等一下，稍等一下。Okay, I tried to explain myself. Okay. 然后完之后，在这个病情的逐步进展，它会出现一个多发的应。呃，现在我们呃带着大家一起看一下我们看过的一些病人的图片。呃、uh, ，in early stage imaging shows multiple small patches, s i d o s and in t e s t i c u l a r in testicular changes.、Uh, as the disease progress, imaging then shows multiple ground glass. Uh, obesities and infer, uh, infiltration in both lungs. Uh, then I will show you some uh, set imaging. Uh, in this picture, uh, A1 and A2 uh, is for a common patient uh, whose symptoms is in the uh, very severe uh, phase. This patient can see that the patient is in the very severe phase. 出现的一个多发小斑片状的一个阴影。嗯、uh, ，we can say， 嗯、uh, ，multi， 呃、uh, ，multiple small patch shadows， 嗯、uh, ，for both lungs。嗯，这个病人没有出现严重的一个呼吸困难。嗯、uh, ，this patient did， 嗯、uh, ，didn't， 嗯、uh, ，develop， 嗯、uh, ，breathing difficulty。呃，在这个病人呃第二排是我们一个出院之前的一个 CT 表现。呃 ，B1 and B2 is a CT imaging when this patient was discharged。嗯嗯，这个时候这个病人的其实他的呃影视影像学的
症状还有影像学的表现还是存在，但是这个病人的临床症状已经全部消失了。Uh, we can uh, still see some symptoms on the uh, CT imaging here, but uh, the clinical symptoms have disappeared. Um, uh, we can see the next patient. This is a patient. This patient is a critical, uh, critically ill patient. Uh, C1 and C2 is the patient in. 呃，出现了严重的呼吸困难的时候的一个 CT 表现。呃、uh, ，C1 and C2 saw the、uh, breathing difficulty for this patient。嗯，这个病人我们给予了呃呼吸呃呼吸机的一个辅助。嗯、uh, ，We aid the、uh, his breathing through machine. 嗯、呃，但是这个很幸运，这个病人最后呃痊愈了。大家可以看到 ，D1 和 D2 是呃这个病人在出院之前的 CT 的一个临床表现。f o r t u n a t e l y this patient was discharged at last, and D1 and D2 showed the、uh, CT imaging when、uh, he was discharged. 嗯、呃，所以大家可以看得到，虽然他这些也是他出院之前的，肺上还是有一定的这种。呃，结节影，嗯、呃，表示这个病人还是出现了少量的这种纤维化的一些肺呃纤维化的改变，但是呃，根据我们的临床经验，这种病人的呃这种结纤维化的改变，大概在两到三个月之后，大多数时间会消失掉。嗯、uh, ，We can still see some symptoms, uh, from D1 and D2, uh, but uh from our experience. Uh, all the symptoms in this uh, CT imaging will disappear in two to three uh, months. So, we, a patient comes in, we, as a emerging disease or a spreading disease, we must know the emerging disease history. When we uh, uh, when we contact with the patients, uh, firstly, important is uh, epidemiological history of this patient. We often ask about a 14-day patient. Is there any possibility to get a vaccine in the community or in your life? Is there a uh, we want to find out whether there is any uh, possibility to uh, contract other uh, COVID-19 patients during uh, the 14 days before uh, the patient came to us. The second thing is that if the patient has the same symptoms and symptoms, they may have the same symptoms. Another important uh, problem we want to know is about uh, people around uh, the patient who can uh, show some symptoms of cough, fever, uh, and uh, whether they can contract other uh, infected people with COVID-19. In this special period, we must be aware of the community. If it is in the community, 在这个特殊时期，如果出现了两个以上的人同时出现了一个呼吸发热、呼吸道症状，我们一定要提高警惕。嗯、uh, ，We should be alert and pay attention to the clustered cases. If there are more two or more cases with fever and or respiratory symptoms in a small area, such as families, offices, school, center,、uh, within two weeks, we must pay attention to this problem. 所以我们呃总结一下，所以我们如果要诊断一个新冠病肺的新冠肺炎的一个呃，就是、说是怎么样去诊断这个病人，首先是要有临床症状，第二个有发热或者呼吸道症状，第三个呃是我们出现了这个
呃 C T 一前面描述的这些影像学特点。第四个呃是出现淋巴系统的淋巴系统叙述技术的一个下降。这四条应该是早期的，如果没有核酸和这些结果以外的呃这些情况的话，我们如何来进行一个临床的筛查？ Uh, in conclusion, if we didn't get the uh, uh, test results of nuclear uh, acid, we can uh, diagnose uh, patients with COVID-19 from these two, uh, these four uh, aspects. The first one is clinical manifestations. Uh, the second one should be fever and all respiratory symptoms. Uh, the third one is the formation of imaging characteristics of the, CT imaging uh, for COVID-19. Uh, the fourth one should be normal or decreased uh, WBC count, normal or decreased liver side count in the early stage of the onset. 嗯，我们知道也知道这些，如果具备前面那四项，那我们就可以把它归类为疑似病例。嗯。If we didn't get the uh, result of uh, nuclear te uh, acid test, uh, we can uh, diagnose a patient as a suspect uh, from the above four uh, aspects. 嗯，最终我们诊断的金标诊断的标准应该还是以核酸结果，呃，或者说是呃，我们做 PCR 测序，然后完之后与这个新冠病毒高度同源。呃，或者说是 IgM， 呃 ，IgG 都可以同时在血清的这个病毒特异性免疫蛋白可以检测得到。然后完之后，我们可以，呃，说 IgG， 呃，在恢复达到恢复期的一个至少四倍的一个低定程度，或者 IgM 能检测得到，这些情况下才可能作为一个确诊的诊断。嗯、uh, ，suspect cases uh with one of the following uh etiology, uh etiological, serological. Evidence can be uh, confirmed. Uh, the first one is RT-PCR, uh, and uh, the second is viral gene sequence uh, sequencing test, uh, testing, and uh, uh, the third one is uh, specific IgM and IgG are detected uh, in the serum. Uh, the fourth is uh, specific IgG uh, can be detected and uh, uh, or reaches a uh, uh, titration of at least fourfold increase during uh, coverage uh, compared with the acute phase. Um, we for this kind of disease, we will definitely have a diagnosis. For a severe disease, we will have a mild disease, or mild disease. Um, to now, or to say, severe disease patients, uh, including this series of this, uh, uh, this diagnosis. So, we first know this first one. 哪些是轻型的，然后就是普通型的病人。啊、uh, ，We have many classification,、uh, clinical uh, classification for this disease.、Uh, for example, mild uh, cases, uh, a symptom, uh, a symptom, tom, uh, tomic, and、uh, moderate cases, we should know、uh, how to classify them. 呃、uh, ，我们主要是包括重型的病例。呃，像呼吸道，呃，频呼吸频率稍大于等于百分之三十，然后完之后，呃，这个氧浓度，这个血氧饱和度低于百分之九十三，呃，或者说是我们的呃氧合指数小于等于三百，这些呃都会是作为一个我们定为定性为危重病例。Uh, severe cases should be paid more attention to. Uh, this slide has shown some uh, criteria for classifying uh, which ones are severe cases. The first is respiratory distress, uh, distress uh, more than uh, 30 breaths uh, per minute. The second is oxygen saturation uh, should be uh, less than 93% and rest. And the third one is uh, PaO2. Uh, divided by FiO2 should be uh, less than 300 mm uh, Hg. Uh, and uh, cases with chest imaging that showed obvious decent progression uh, within 24 to 48 hours should be more than 
fifty percent. 嗯，那我们知道，呃，最也严重的，我们也是最危重的这一波，就是是常年呃进到 ICU 的这一波。Uh, the most critical cases should be uh, diagnosed as uh, following criteria. Uh, 呼吸衰竭需要机械通气、休克，或者是其他器官功能衰竭需要重症监护。Uh, there are three criteria: first, is respiratory failure and requiring mechanical ventilation. Uh, the second is shock. The third, it should be uh, other organ. Uh, failure that requires ICU care. 嗯，那我们前面也反复提到了，呃，这个淋巴细胞技术，呃，或者说是这个呃进行性的乳酸升高，包括肺部的炎症的肺部的一个呃感染的，在短期内一个迅速进展的一个情况。Uh, as we have mentioned uh, above, uh, the Peripheral blood lymphocyte decrease is very important, and uh, uh, inflammatory factors such as IL-6, uh, C-reactive proteins, uh, increase progressively, uh, and other indicators should be paid attention to. Uh, 不可能新冠病毒一出来，我们其他所有的病毒都消失不见。Uh, we should be alert that uh, besides the COVID-19 virus, there are also other viruses uh, in our patients. Uh, uh, I have encountered many patients with uh, COVID-19 and also other uh, diseases. Uh, 呃，也有支原体肺炎合并新冠病毒感染的病人。Such as influenza virus and other viruses. 所以一定要警惕这其他已知的一些病毒性肺炎。So when we are、uh, treating COVID-19 patients, we should uh, pay attention to other uh, condition, clinical conditions uh, at the same time. 嗯，这是第一个，第二个也是最重要的。我们呃，这前面前面讲的都是一些诊断的事情，我们现在最重要讲的是这个呃，我们如何治疗。嗯、呃，治疗首先是也是最重要的事情，就是我们要做到呃，第一个加强监加强监护，然后完第二个呢就是加强一个支持治疗。嗯、uh, ，We have talked about the Diagnosis about, and then I will talk some uh, insurance about the treatment. Uh, the most important, I think, should be uh, monitoring and uh, support treatment. We know that anti-COVID-19 treatment is very important. We also know that, first of all, this is also very important. 呃，有很多的抗病毒治疗，但是我自己采用的是，呃，利巴韦林或者，呃，是磷酸氯喹。Uh, we know there are many medic, uh, uh, medications for uh, antiviral therapy, and uh, I, uh, in my clinical experience, I use uh, libavirin. 呃，还有阿比多尔，呃 c o n o c r i l and a b i d o 呃，但是我们用抗所有的抗病毒治疗，一定要注意它有严重的，都会有产生严重的毒副作用。But、uh, we have to be alert that for all the antiviral therapy,、uh, side effects may、uh, manifest. 呃，比如利巴韦林会导致严重的骨髓抑制。呃、uh, ，For example， 呃、uh, ，这帮人怎么说的？呃、uh, ，就是严重的。Inhibitor， 呃、uh, ，can show， 呃、uh, ，can suppress the bone。
，所以，然后完之后，我们所以我们一定会，呃，必须严密的观察这些药物的使用及它的不良后果。So we we、uh, use this, uh, medication. We should monitor, uh, the symptoms of patient and, uh, be alert to the side effects. 嗯，绝对不要使用三种或三种以上的，呃，这个抗病毒药物。Uh, it is not recommended to uh, use uh, three or more antivirus drugs at the same time. We, in general, for the severe cases and the severe cases, we are individual. But we have a general rule of care: to treat treatment, prevent the severe cases, treat the basic disease, prevent the spread of the disease. 呃，包括我们的 ECMO， 包括 CRT， 其实都是叫做提供器官的一个功能支援。然后还有这个，目前这是一个治疗原则的问题。呃、uh, ，for treatment of severe and critical cases， 呃、uh, ，we， 呃、uh, ，is it different for every， 呃、uh, ，different patient？ 呃、uh, ，but the principle of the treatment for this kind of， 呃、uh, ，patient should be like， 呃、uh, ，foreigners。And uh, uh, we can use some special devices, for example, ECMO and other uh, machines that to uh, provide open function support. 嗯，常规的，我们目前已经也用过的氧疗，包括高流量，包括无创和有创的，呃，一些机械通气的治疗。嗯、uh, ，In this slide, I have show some, uh. Treatment for uh, severe and critical cases, including uh, oxygen therapy, high follow natural uh, considered oxygen, non invasive uh, mechanical uh, ventilation, invasive mechanical ventilation, uh, and other rescue therapy. So, we have to do this, and we have to do this. 呃，这里主要跟大家讲一下激素，因为激素的我们治疗的过程中，我们一直很注意这次的激素的应用，我们应用量很小。如果没有明确的进展期，很非常迅速的病人，我们一般不用激素。啊、uh, ，In this slide there are some other treatments advice for the severe and the critical cases, and I want to emphasize the use of glucose. Uh, good cortical coins. Uh, uh, for this disease, uh, we use some uh, some uh, good uh, cortical coins for short period of time. 嗯，激素的应用，我的经验，呃，就是快上快下，大概也就是最多三到五天。f o r my experience, uh, we use uh, good co cortical coins. Uh, should be uh, limited to three to uh, five days. 嗯，我们这个病人通过我们的治疗之后有好转，要出院。但是我们出院是呃会有以下的几个标准。呃，第一个就是体温正常三天以上。这个时候我们强调的是没有激素，一定是没有运用激素的情况下。第二个不吸氧的情况下，呃，氧保指数大于百分之九十七。第三个。呃，我们的呼吸症状，呃，明显改善，但是不代表 CT 会全部吸收。呃，这个也是最重要的事情，就是我们呃核酸的结果检测结果两次阴性，呃，在间隔二十四小时以上。呃、uh, ，this slide shows uh, uh, discharge criteria, uh, including uh, the patient, uh, the body temperature. Should be back to normal for more than three days without uh, the cortical uh, medication. Uh, the second should be respiratory symptoms improve obviously, and uh, the third is the uh, CT imaging shows obvious uh, absorption of information, but uh, uh, we allow. Uh, some symptoms uh, are allowed when they are discharged. 
but the most important is the nucleic acid test negative twice consecutively on respiratory tract samples. Uh, this is the most important. Uh, 因为这个不仅仅它不仅仅是一个疾病，而且更多的是一种流行病、流行性传染病。The uh, most important insurance uh, should be uh, early detection, prompt reporting, uh, swift isolation, and early treatment, because this is not just a disease, it can spread very fast. 我简单给大家说一下这个防护，呃，是呃，对于我们医护工作者来说也是最重要的事情。呃，第一个是做好手卫生，呃，第二个呢是我们拖带，呃，这个口罩的这个顺序和方法。I uh, uh, want to talk more about the key points of self protection for medical staff. Uh, the important thing is uh, hand uh, hygiene and uh, uh, how to wear and remove our uh, mask and other things. Uh,在我们呃在隔离病区工作的时候，我们一定一定呃会呃做一个正确的穿脱隔离防护装备的一个措施。呃，这个我相信印度的老师会。印度的感空的老师会在教导大家，但是我给大家在这里强调的一点就是，我们做这个这些事情一定一定是要一丝不苟、认认真真。呃，目前的我的病区里的所有的医生护士已经完成了隔离期，然后呃已经做了副相当于
a month ago, I thought uh, the weather uh, can stop this virus, and uh, I think India should be uh, very fortunate uh, because uh, you got the help of sun. Uh, but when I saw this picture, I realized uh, this virus is not so uh, easy to handle this. From this picture, we can see uh, there's uh, no significant difference uh, between the north and the south. Uh, you know, uh, the south is Florida. Uh, it is uh, like in the summer, but in the summer weather. So, at the beginning of the uh, spread of this COVID nineteen virus, many Americans fly to uh, flew to. Uh, this state, but now this is the uh, most severe uh, area in America, and this is uh, the first picture. Uh, we can see what is going on in the, uh, on, uh, in this world. And another information shocked me uh, was also uh, from April third. Uh, there's a uh, study about the uh, uh, risk difference. Michigan is uh, now reporting the racial breakdown of COVID 19 cases. So far, uh, 10,791 positive cases have been reported and uh, uh, 417 deaths. Of that, we can say African Amer Americans account for. 35% of cases and 40% of deaths. In fact, yesterday I saw another uh, data from another state of the US. Uh, the fatality uh, goes up to 72% yes, 72 for uh, African Americans. Uh, this is not a good news. So uh, I want to I want you to think about this uh, information. Uh, you can uh, feel your own feelings. Okay, and then I will continue my lecture. Uh, my lecture will uh, focus on five W. The first is what will we confront during epidemic except the virus. And the second should be, who should be focused during this epidemic? The third is, what's the point for communicating with patients or healthy people? And third, uh, and the fourth is, what should be prepared for our uh, medical staff? And the last one is, what method can be used effectively for panic? Uh, I don't know uh, who, uh, what did you think between, uh, before we, uh, before um, this uh, virus spread so widely about uh, uh, one month ago, what we confront during this uh, epidemic in your country in India, I don't know the, the reality, what the reality, uh, reality is. I want to uh, share my experience uh, when Wuhan was locked down. All kinds of news come first. Because uh, I want, uh, I wasn't in Wuhan uh, when uh, the city was locked down. I don't know the uh, real situation there. And I uh, saw news, I saw uh, WeChat, the information every day. Uh, there are all kinds of news, and uh, uh, from now we can see many uh, pieces of news are rumor. But uh, unfortunately, rumor came first, always. Uh, they came faster than truth. Uh, in front of all the uh, all kinds of this uh, news, and our emotions can go up and down, up and down. So. Everyone I uh, uh, confronted, uh, I 
encountered during the uh, last month uh, are answered for a uh, fine extent. And uh, we know uh, the most important uh, thing we should do and not, uh, that ordinary people should be at home and stay at home strictly. But it's very hard. Uh, we like to go out. We like uh, we like shopping. We like uh, have dinner with our friends. And it's uh, when we are told we you should stay at home and don't go out. It is really very hard. And another thing is very hard is to let people change their habits. Uh, you know. When Wuhan was locked down, uh, it was the uh, most important festival in China, the Spring Festival. Uh, in other years, we uh, go around and uh, shopping and visiting our relatives, visiting our friends. Uh, this is the, what to do in this uh, festival. But this year is different. Our biggest uh, habits were changed. I see, I saw many people don't understand and they blame uh, for each other and they became uh, angry and anxious and uh, depression, all kinds of uh, negative emotion came out. And for Western people, uh, we can see uh, their habits also should be changed. Uh, no hug, no handshake, no face-to-face -face work, uh, no face-to-face -face, uh, chatting, dinner. All these uh, habits should be changed uh, during this epidemic, or we can't stop it. Of course, another uh, different change, uh, another significant change is uh, to study or work at home or online. That is very challenging for some people, you know. This is what we will confront, uh, except the virus. It's not about health, it's about our life. In fact, this is a war for everyone. The human have developed uh, developed uh, to a high degree uh, that uh, we can uh, take care of our health. But uh, in front of this coronavirus, our health are in great threat, and we didn't know how to do. It, uh, it didn't affect our health alone, it can affect the economy. Many people in America have lost their jobs. And it also affects our tradition. If uh, in the great spring festival, we can't go out. That's a huge tradition, that's a huge challenge. And after all, it will uh, change our lifestyle for a long time, I think, maybe. This is a war, really. Uh, we should, we should, should treat it seriously. I know some people uh, treat it as a se uh, severe flu. Many people, many famous people said, ah, it's just a flu. Uh, we can go through it. Uh, but that's not a fact. Uh, many people in Western countries, especially in America now, they say, oh, this is a very uh, strict situation, and the virus is the uh, smartest enemy we have ever encountered. This virus treats everyone equally for, to some extent, uh, no matter what you are, politician, actor, or great science, no matter what you are, we are targets of the virus. So uh, keep yourself safe. That's the most important. We don't know who will be the next. All 
human beings are in this world, including us. Then, who should be focused during this epidemic? Uh, from lecture uh, presented by Dr. Fong, we have know that some people uh, die uh, more easily than others. And uh, fortunately, children are always mild uh, patients. But for people uh, with weak immunity, uh, they should pay uh, more attention to this situation. Uh, for people who had other illnesses, including affective disorders. Uh, from doc Dr. Ford's presentation, we should know uh, diabetes patients uh, patients is at high risk. Uh, from my uh, experience, affective disorders uh, patients should also be paid uh, more attention to because uh, during the epidemic, they are more easily to get panic and they can uh, affect, they can influence other people even more severely than the virus. Pregnant women should also be a person too because uh, when the preg uh, pregnant women got this virus, uh, their babies can get it too. So. Uh, in order to stop this virus, we should be uh, we should pay attention to uh, this population. Another population should be old people. You know, in some uh, countries, uh, not all of the people were caught in, uh, locked at home. Uh, they let young people, let uh, strong people, to go around and live ordinary life. But at last old people uh, go to price. There are more deaths than other countries. And another uh, population should be teenagers. Uh, I will show you uh, one of my uh, studies uh, conducted during the uh, epidemic period. Uh, we should know the uh, challenge they uh, will face in this epidemic. And at last, and the most important should be paid attention, uh, paid attention to medical staff, uh, I, including everyone uh, today. Take care of yourself. Uh, take good care of yourself. That's the most important. Uh, you are the warrior. You are the fighter in this epidemic, in this war. So uh, your health is the most important for this war. Then uh, we can say it's very important to communicate uh, with patients or healthy people. Uh, from my experience, uh, respect is the key. I know uh, for some people it's very, it's very hard or impossible to stay at home uh, because many people need work, they need to uh, earn money for their family. Uh, they prefer to get COVID-19 than uh, to diving, uh, to uh, die of starving. But uh, we know uh, that should be uh, avoided. But uh, we should uh, respect their needs. Uh, that's the most important thing uh, when we com communicate with uh, others. It is more important to listen carefully than to suggest. Uh, if you listen carefully, they are uh, they think you respect them and they will follow your suggestions. But if you don't show your respect, you didn't, uh, you didn't listen their needs, if you didn't understand their difficulty, then we just give suggestions. They said, oh, I can't do it. Then the communication uh, would, uh, wouldn't go through. And we should understand uh, everyone's difficulties when we want them to uh, follow our uh, advices. 
and affirming their efforts is also very important. Uh, because many, uh, many pieces of news are rumors and uh, uh, accurate and timely information is the best gift for our uh, medical staff to others. They should understand quickly, but just slowly. Uh, we know news, they come, uh, they come to us. We saw some news, for example, uh, I saw uh, at the beginning of uh, this presentation, uh, in some states of United States, uh, American uh, black people got much higher fatality uh, 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 during all races. I don't know what you will think. This is a, the virus uh, fighting with black people? No, because black people in America, they can't uh, stop working. They have to earn their life. They have to earn money to support their families. So uh, the fatality for them is much higher. Then I want to uh, talk about what should be prepared for our uh, medical staff. I know uh, today uh, there are many kinds of uh, doctors in India. If you are a doctor in primary medical center, I think uh, you can be a teacher uh, than to be a doctor. Uh, we know there's no uh, very uh, useful medication now, and we have no uh, vaccine at, uh, till now. So the most important to do is to stay at home with uh, social distancing and quarantining and uh, wash our hands and uh, to, uh, the, kind of the right way to have lunch, have dinner. But it's very hard to uh, just say, oh, you should stay away from others. But many people live together. How can they stay away from others? So if you are a doctor in primary medical center, I think you should be more than uh, more a teacher than you know, just a doctor. Uh, you should teach people how to measure their temperature, how to wash hands, how to sterilize, and how to cough, just like this. <clears throat> Uh, to avoid the droplets from the uh, patients to uh, affect others. Uh, and if you are a doctor in higher level medical center, uh, I think um, you should prepare well for more severe situations. You should prepare yourself every day. Uh, it's not a joke. Because uh, just like Dr. Fong, uh, he had uh, the hard time uh, in Wuhan. And uh, I, uh, I don't know whether uh, the situation will go in the future, but we should be well prepared emotionally. So, train yourself every day is very important for our uh, doctors in the first line. And uh, another thing is to comfort each other heartily and to unite together to fight the virus. That's very, very important. Uh, I think yoga is very helpful uh, for all the people, especially for uh, our medical staff. Uh, I, I have consulted uh, many doctors uh, in the front line uh, in the last months. They are uh, very anxious and depressed. Uh, you know, we can't treat all the people. We can see disasters uh, every day. And the doctor need to be uh, comfort. I uh, mean, uh, some, uh, some of the doctors can't sleep well. Uh, they got insomnia. They are very uh, tired. I think uh, practice yoga, uh, can help, especially for uh, better sleep. Better sleep means 
better immunity. That's very important. Another uh, suggestion for all medical staff is to prepare to work online and remotely. Uh, I think one of the most uh, uh, obvious changes of our lifestyle in the future uh, should be like this. Uh, we talk online, we uh, have meeting online, we study online, even we uh, perform our medical uh, operation online in the future. This is possible, and uh, we should prepare it for it. Then, what method can be used effectively for avoiding panic? Yes, panic. Uh, from my experience, I uh, think for every country, uh, every city, panic will certainly happen for some people. Uh, this is uh, not a good news, but we have to prepare for the panic. Because if people got panic, uh, they may spread more uh, patients uh, in the future. Uh, how to avoid, uh, how to manage panic? Uh, the important thing is to manage the uh, emotions. We know from the uh, experience of different countries, uh, strictly quarantined or strictly uh, stay at home is very important, but for some countries it is very hard. Uh, in China, our government is very strong and uh, we were told to stay at home. So everyone uh, just at home. And uh, there are many volunteers to support the ordinary life and uh, uh, food were delivered. But um, I think many countries uh, have different situations. Uh, for a community, uh, I think medical staff should get the support of the leader. The leader is very, very important. Uh, you should let them know the importance to prepare the hardest time for the virus, for bad economy, for panic, for food shortage. They should have plan. If they have plan, the panic will be controlled in a uh, good way. But if they don't have a plan, and uh, if they can encounter some challenge, the panic will uh, manifest. Uh, for a family, I think medical staff should get the support of every adult, and uh, especially the one in charge of the family. They, have, they should have family meeting to get a plan for if someone in the family got COVID-19. What to do, how to do. They should uh, get a plan for their family. That's very, uh, other people can't uh, give proper suggestions for every family, for every family. So family meeting and the family plan is very important. They should prepare uh, who is at high risk, and if someone get uh, COVID-19, uh, how to eat, how to uh, do hand, uh, hand washing, and how to uh, sleep, how to share the room. That's very complicated, but we should have a, a good plan. Uh, another uh, population is students. For students, uh, they should be uh, they should study online. I think uh, study is the most important for students, and uh, many countries have begin uh, that uh, begin uh, letting students study online. Then teacher support is uh, is very important because students. They will uh, listen to the, uh, follow their teacher's suggestions. Uh, but it is very hard, it is very challenging for students, for family, for teachers, for all the uh, 
well, uh, all of us, but we have to do it. Here, I want to uh, share one of my uh, study uh, completed recently. Uh, we conduct an investigation study on high school students in China. Uh, questionnaires uh, were distributed online and we got uh, 579 dead, uh, including uh, 226 living in Wuhan and uh, others from other cities in China. Uh, we investigated uh, academic-related factors, uh, decision-making style, uh, anxiety or depression disorder, uh, and some other, uh, something else, for example, uh, if, uh, if you know uh, people uh, get COVID-19, and if you are a son of a, a medical staff, etc. Uh, this slide shows the main results of our uh, study. I want to share here. Uh, you can see uh, the predictor for uh, depressed uh, anxiety uh, or depressed depression uh, disorder, including sex and uh, uh, efficacy uh, online uh, courses and the classroom uh, courses and the uh, rational uh, decision making style and avoidant uh, decision making style I will explain uh, they are, uh, the P uh, were all uh, below uh, 0 0.05 we can see uh, female is more favorable uh, to be healthier. Male, uh, male students, uh, male high, uh, high school students, all the subjects were uh, high school students. Male are more easily to get panic, get anxiety or uh, depression disorder. And uh, this is about uh, whether they like uh, online courses. If the uh, uh, students don't like it, they strongly disagree with the uh, online courses is more uh, efficient than classroom courses, they are more easily to get depression or anxiety. And uh, another important finding is uh, rational decision making. This is a protective factor for uh, high school students. Uh, if they can think uh, rational and make decisions uh, using this kind of uh, style, they are uh, more uh, they are more healthy in this epidemic. But uh, the avoidant decision making uh, style can be uh, on worse. If people uh, use it, uh, if people use avoidant uh, decision making style, they are more easily to get uh, anxiety or depression disorder. And uh, this is the uh, normal gram we have conducted uh, for the prediction model. Uh, the four important uh, factors should be avoidant decision making style. Uh, whether they like online courses uh, and the gender and that's no decision making style. Uh, this is the total points. From this study, I want to share it about this. There are many things we don't know about this enemy. Because uh, based on our previous uh, studies, Male students are more likely to get uh, emotional disorders. But in this study, we see uh, male students. That's very different. And uh, we didn't uh, predict, uh, we didn't know uh, the result can be like this from the beginning. This is the first uh, you know, different. 
And you can see uh, in our data, there are many students living uh, in Wuhan, but in the final prediction model, there's no difference whether you live in Wuhan or in other city, uh, that doesn't matter. Many people, many students uh, got panic. Living, uh, the situation of the living area doesn't uh, affect significantly. In fact, when we compared uh, the difference, the uh, situations of uh, depression or uh, depression uh, or anxiety uh, disorder, we found students out of Wuhan is more easily to uh, first. That's ridiculous. That we didn't find, uh, we didn't thought that the doubt can be like this. So we can't, uh, we don't, there's, there are too many things we don't, uh, we don't know about this and I want to share uh, this view uh, for everyone. We should be alert. This virus is very smart and this is, a, uh, we can say this is the most smart virus we counted until now. Uh, this is the main part of my uh, appearance and uh, my lecture. And uh, at last, I want to uh, conclude for the most important tips for our uh, medical staff. Stay at home away from the virus. This is the way we fight this war. But uh, it's very uh, hard and it's very difficult for everyone. Uh, whether your house is big enough or small enough, uh, it is very difficult for everyone. But we have to uh, try our best to stay away from the virus. Uh, if we got some uh, cough, uh, tell him how to cough. Just stop the spread. Social distance is very important. If we can uh, choose uh, face-to-face -face or online, I prefer uh, to attack online. So cell phone, uh, so computer, uh, so apps and other things, not face-to-face, -face. even you are very good friends. Because uh, we don't know whether we got infected at many uh, occasions. Another important thing is hand washing. Hand washing, hand washing, important, very important. I know uh, some people may mm, can't wash their hand for uh, uh, for convenience, but we have to try our best. Uh, that's a situation we encounter uh, encountered now. Mm, use masks. If you don't have masks, uh, use other things, just cover your face. We have now uh, the main source of uh, spread is droplets. So cover your face is uh, very important. Whether you are a patient or a healthy people, cover your face is uh, your responsibility for yourself, for others, for everyone. Uh, another thing is yoga, uh, yoga or some other relaxing measures uh, for good sleep. Uh, some people can pre uh, practice yoga. Uh, some people I can uh, recommend to uh, communicate uh, more with our friends, with our families. Uh, just uh, tell them your difficulties and let them uh, now, what you are doing, that's very important for support. 
And this kind of support is very good for our emotion, for our immunity, for the final victory. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, lecture of uh, my appearance. Thank you for your listening and best wishes for everyone. Thank you, Dr. Yang, for the session. I'm sure the doctors would have Thank found you. this informative. Um, the doctors have submitted uh, a lot of questions. Um, I'm happy to post them to the panelists now. Um, Dr. Fang, are you ready? Yeah. I yes. think this is the hardest part of this speech. Yes, doctor. Yes. So, uh, so the, we have uh, seen a lot of articles uh, with the uh, information regarding VCG vaccines. You know how uh, if they, you know, provide any sort of protection towards COVID nineteen. Uh, do you have any information in regards to that? Uh, pardon? 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 Kazawa 呃，并没有，呃，并没有专门去接种卡尔基苗，所以我从我的理论上来看，我觉得接种卡尔基苗可能意义不是那么大。From Dr. Fang's experience, uh, it is not very important for this kind of uh, vaccine. Okay, thank you. Um. Uh, what is your experience with uh, convalescent plasma treatment for COVID-19? Uh, uh, uh 四周以后就是从确诊到恢复到四周以后明确肺部炎症消失这两个病人是我们恢复血浆应用比较多的重症和体内无法自身产生抗体的这一类病人。For uh, this kind of treatment, there are some uh, difficulties. Firstly, it's hard to 
uh, collect the uh, plasma for the uh, patients uh, because uh, many patients can't uh, produce uh, antibody uh, themselves. And secondly, uh, we only use uh, this kind of treatment for uh, severe uh, patients. Okay, so um, the next question here, doctor, is uh, does an infected and recovered patient develop immunity to COVID-19? And how long does it take for the immunity to develop? Um, Tomei 满打满算也就是三个月，所以这个时间我不能确定。但是它有免疫的时间，我不能确定。但是从我们的IgG检测来看，它应该是有免疫的。我们打疫苗，也就是希望取得这个效果。确实，to the uh, lasting time from from our first patient till now, uh, we don't have enough time to observe. So uh, this is a hard question to uh, make sure. Okay, doctor. Um, what percentage of uh, patients have had reinfection of COVID nineteen? after they have been completely treated, declared negative, and have been discharged from the hospital. Uh, 复阳的首先复阳这个概念呢是指我们的核酸检测是阳性这个比例在我治疗的远远低于其他的这个时期uh, for this kind of patients, uh, it is hard to answer that question because uh, when we charge patients, they got uh, nuclear acid uh, test uh, negative, but uh, the test can be uh, misleading, uh, and sometimes they, uh, they still have some uh, virus in their body, and uh, uh, after a while, we can got positive test results. So I don't think all the people uh, are re-infected. Really, uh, 
and um, and 刚才说是它传染性很低，是吧？呃，我们目前的张呃华山医院的呃张文红呃主任呃给出观点，包括华山医院是给出的观点，都是这些富阳的病人身上并没有培养出来活病毒，呃，所以我们认为他们传染性很低。嗯、okay. uh, ， evidence is sold and uh suggestion by uh Chinese experts said, uh we didn't find uh Activate uh, active uh, virus in this kind of patient, so uh, they uh, are not so easy to spread this uh, virus. Okay, doctor. So uh, my next question is uh, with regards to the cytokine storm in COVID nineteen. Uh, how does it compare to the SARS and MERS infection? Which you have experienced earlier. Uh, he wants to ask, is the SARS and MERS the 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 到了最后的这个阶段，炎症风暴其实最终的感染途径或者传播途径一定是细胞因子，这些细胞因子没有不同，所以我认为这些炎症风暴没有什么太多的不同，只是它侵犯的部位不一样。呃，这次的炎症风暴，我更多的认为是由于缺氧导致的，细胞呃大量坏死之后产生的炎症风暴，跟 SARS、MERS 没有什么太大的区别。Uh, I think uh, there's no uh, significant difference between uh, COVID-19 and uh, uh, SARS or MERS about uh, uh, this uh, aspect. I think the most important for COVID-19 is uh, hypoxia called uh, cytokine uh, uh, inf uh, inflammatory uh, storm. Okay, doctor. So uh, the next question asked by the uh, audience is, what is the percentage of hospitalization rate for young and middle-aged adults? This是应该在暂时我们还真没有统计过 uh, overall uh, data from uh, Wuhan uh, city, but for my interest, have more than 50% uh, uh, people uh, were about uh, 60 years old, so all people are more likely to get this disease. Okay, thank you, Doctor. The next question is, uh, what is the expected timeline uh, for a viable vaccine or treatment for COVID-19? Uh, 首先对于这种病人我们目前来说早期在他没有出现表现为轻症或者说是一般的情况下我们提供足够的营养知识和适当的养疗这个是早期的做出如果这一类病人通过这一类的积极的包括口服药物的抗病毒治疗这些治疗
本身就有基础疾病的病人，把这些病人的提高他的关注度，呃，然后完了在他的疾病的中期，就是呃大概在一周左右，这个病理型就会发生一个变化，部分病人就会变重，这个病人比例虽然很低，但是我们要及早的关注。呃，然后完之后，在这种病人出现之后，给予更积极的养疗，比如说无创，呃，比如说呃这个有创，啊、呃，甚至有创。如果在肺部 CT 影像学复查比较严重的情况下，进展迅速的话，我们会用一些激素，呃，这样的一个就是大概在五到七天我们去做这个事情，然后完之后到了十四天，这时候主要是呃我们担心更多的担心会是一些继发性的感染，如果这病人一般情况很好。呃，复查呃肺部的吸收情况，我们会用甚至用一些中成药物来促进它的一个吸收，肺部的吸收，嗯、呃，主要是这些。呃，然后完之后，其他的病人需要可能个体化的病人可能需要个体化对待。太长了，好长。呃，我们先来第一段吧。呃，在早期的时候，我们给予的所有的病人基本上给予了养疗和这个营养支持治疗。Uh, on the uh, early stage, uh, we give uh, every patient uh, oxygen treatment and uh, support treatment. Uh,然后我们根据他的CT表现和呼吸困难程度,然后完之后,初步的给予一个评分,然后完之后,尤其是这些有基础病的病人,我们会给予额外的关注。About a week later, uh, we will uh, class, uh, classify patients according to their uh, CT image, uh, CT imaging and uh, uh, symptoms, and uh, whether they have other diseases like, uh, like uh, high blood pressure or diabetes, and uh, uh, we may uh, pay more attention to the high risk uh, population. 呃，在第五到七周的时候，我们会复查 CT。呃，如果进展比较快，我们会加上激素。呃、uh, uh, ，We will uh retest uh retest the CT imaging and about the uh fifth to seventh day, and if the uh, progression is quickly, uh, we will uh, use some uh hormone therapy. 嗯，但在第后用上激素之后，我们会更加关注它的一个继发性的感染。呃，when we use uh hormone therapy, we will pay more attention to the side effects. 嗯，从同时加强它的养疗，确保它的氧饱和度到百分之九十三以上。And we will use more uh active uh oxygen. Uh, ventilation uh, therapy uh, to make sure uh, their oxygen uh, saturation uh, is more than 93 percent uh, uh, for all patients. Uh, 在后期 14天以后 病人进入 如果一旦进入恢复期之后 我们这时候可能会采用一些 这个中成药治疗中草药治疗帮助病人恢复 uh, about uh, after uh, 14 days, uh, we, uh, when the patient got better, uh, we will use some uh, traditional Chinese medicine to help them. Uh,疫苗,关于疫苗,这个现在目前我们中国的疫苗进入,根据官方的消息是进入了二期的一个临床实验,呃,具体的时间,这个可能根据得根据实验的结果而定。uh, from the report, uh, uh, our Chinese vaccine has been tested in the first two clinical uh, trial, but we don't know the uh, real uh, timeline in the future. Okay, doctor, thank you. Thank you. Um, the next question is, uh, are O positive blood group patients less susceptible to COVID-19? Uh, um, uh, luckily or la unluckily, I'm the old type blood. I am the old blood type blood, but I don't okay. think the uh, but I don't think the old type blood is uh, 
uh, is is not like that. Uh, that okay. is just a conclusion. Uh, uh, 一个只是只是一个回顾性研究。Uh, it's just a retrospective uh, study. The evidence is not so solid. Okay. Okay. So next question, uh, Doctor, what is the maximal maximum prodromal period or maximum incubation period for COVID nineteen? Uh,潜伏症状的时期，最长的潜伏症状，呃，时期是多长？还有就是最长的这个潜伏期可以达到多久？呃，我的病人中，呃，最长的潜伏期是十六天，这是我的病人中间的，呃，呃，但是据报道
for different phases of the disease, uh, this kind of detecting methods can show their uh, advantages. Uh, because you can't know uh, which stage they are uh, in, so we can't know uh, which uh, detecting method should be better. Uh, we uh, uh, now we use all the uh, testing methods, including CT imaging, uh, IT PCR, uh, and uh, I was not sure the other. 血常规 CT 核酸检测加上 IgG IgM 四项。呃 ，IgG IgM testing and the peripheral uh, blood uh, routine. All the four uh, measures were used at the same time to uh, diagnose the patients now. Okay, doctor, thank you. The next question is, uh, can COVID-19 spread through vegetables, fruits, and other articles purchased during an epidemic? And what precautions should be taken in such cases? Uh, in the epidemic, uh... 呃，那个病毒的传播会不会通过通过呃购买的蔬菜啊、水果或其他物品进行传播？那这种情况下，我们有没有什么可以预防的措施？嗯，这个是这样的，我就描述一下武汉的生活吧。呃，武汉的时候，快递呢，我们拿回来都会用酒精消毒。呃，然后如果说蔬菜水果的话，你在清洗完了之后，它是会会经过高温的。高温情况下，它自然就也就消毒了。呃，我觉得没有额外的情况，额外的必要再去重新再去这个加强。呃，就是说是二次消毒，那么我觉得意义不是很大。但是对于外包装，可以适当的采用酒精喷洒，呃，物体表面的形式来进行消毒。嗯，不好意思，刚走神了一下，就是说，呃，你认为这个不需要再呃多余的这个消毒是吧？呃，我们会适当的用酒精来呃喷洒一下物体表面，但是不会量特别多。Okay. okay. Uh, from uh, Doctor Fall's experience, uh, alcohol can uh, be used to uh, uh, clean the out uh, surface of uh, the objects, but it's not uh, very necessary uh, because we will. Was the vegetables and the, the things we uh, uh, deliver to tours, and we can use the uh, heat, uh, high uh, temperature uh, during the cook. Uh, uh, so it's not very uh, necessary to uh, use uh, additional uh, alcohol or other things. Thank you, doctor. So the next question is um, uh, with regards to physiotherapists. How can they help patients with uh, uh, positive COVID-19 patients and others at home? Uh, can teaching breathing exercise help in the recovery process? Uh, 作为一名物理治疗师，呃、uh, ，我们应该怎么帮助那些新冠阳性的患者呢？或者说是其他待在家里面的呃人呢？呃，我们可以教他们呼吸练习吗？这个会有用吗？嗯，这个我认为是有用的。我们尤其是在早期和疾病呃，帮助病人的做一些相当于扩张肺泡的活动，增加他的增加快他的肺的恢复。嗯、uh, ，Based on my experience, it's very useful uh, to teach people how to breathe, and uh, uh, in fact, we use, uh, we use the, uh, video teaching uh, during the uh, early stage and. Uh, the recovery stage for our patients uh, in our experience. <clears throat> Thank you, Doctor. Uh, Fang, I think that ends the uh, questions uh, for you. I think Dr. Yan, I think I have a few questions for you. <coughs> okay. Um, 
So the first question is, uh, what are the long-term psychological effects of COVID-19 patients and their families? Um, is she on French? I'll make you okay, I beg your pardon? Uh, what are the long-term psychological effects of COVID-19 patients and their families? Long-term what for? I don't get that uh, word. The, the psychological effects. Um, what emotional effects or what uh, problems that they will face um, uh, for COVID-19 okay, families? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's very complicated, and uh, uh, during the last uh, last month, we see many uh, manifestations of the uh, negative emotions like anxiety disorder, uh, depression disorder, and uh, uh, insomnia, and many other uh, manifestations of psychological uh, problems. Uh, we, uh, when the CT were uh, reduced uh, to uh, let people go out, uh, we see a phenomenon, the rate of divorce uh, got much higher. So we can say uh, the, their families have just a uh, hard time during quarantine time uh, during this, this period. Uh, because uh, it has changed our lifestyle so much and the people uh, we usually, usually we just uh, go out to work and uh, join our friends at the day and uh, uh, at night we get home. But uh, in this period, we stay at home uh, 24 hours, uh, all, the, uh, all the people. So it's very hard to uh, coordinate and uh, uh, it's hard for conversation. So uh, many uh, problems. Uh, during this quarantine, uh, quarantine uh, period. Okay, doctor. So, um, what are the communication strategies uh, to manage patients with COVID-19? Uh, how do you manage them emotionally when they are in the hospital? Uh, I think uh, that's a very important question. Uh, especially in the hospital uh, because uh, the cooperation of the patients is very important for their recovery and for the uh, doctor's work. Uh, in our uh, country, we can say there are many psychologists working together with uh, respiratory or uh, uh, working together with other doctors, uh, especially uh, in the um, in the uh, isolation uh, area and other uh, ICU uh, care uh, wards. And uh, it's also very important to help their families to understand what's going on and let them uh, uh, help them to uh, get through this hard time. Psychological, uh, psychological experts are always there from the beginning uh, till the end in the uh, hospital. Yes, doctor. The next question is um, uh, with regards to children. Uh, we know they are very active mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they need to go play, play. But in this time of COVID, how do we manage them? How do we counsel them? Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, we know uh, children like to play out, uh, and uh, uh, but they have to uh, that uh, they have to stay at home uh, during this period of time. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a uh, father of two uh, children. I will uh, share my experience. Uh, we uh, can arrange their time uh, from uh, their uh, when they uh, get up and uh, do their washing and uh, breakfast. Uh, we should arrange all the uh, time for them very carefully. And uh, mm, 
uh, we don't want to let them say uh, must uh, must time on the screen, but uh, it can't avoid it. It can't be avoided. So uh, we can use computers uh, for their uh, learning. Uh, share some video for them. Let them know uh, what's going on. We are at a wall and let's uh, explain uh, the, uh, the, um, what the virus is and uh, why we should uh, why uh, we should stay at home and uh, how to help people uh, for uh, this kind of things. Uh, many children can understand, but uh, there are also some uh, children who can't follow your advice. That's, that's uh, uh, very possible. And uh, when we uh, face this kind of uh, problems, uh, we can make some uh, games uh, at home. Uh, we can uh, play with them just uh, like they uh, they were in their kindergartens or in their schools uh, to be their partner, to be their friends, to play some games. Uh, we use uh, we use uh, cartoon uh, painting. Uh, we use uh, uh, Lego uh, and some others. Uh, I think uh, drawing picture uh, is a very good solution for managing uh, children's uh, emotion. Uh, uh, and another one is uh, let them uh, jump or uh, do some exercise at home because children are uh, full of this uh, kind of things. Uh, try to do some sports. Uh, uh, exercise, uh, for example, running, jumping, uh, or some others. Yeah, yoga can also be recommended. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. The last question is uh, Do you have okay. any special advice for the elderly during this time? Uh, pardon? For the, for the older, uh, for people above the age of 60 to 65 years. So, uh, old people. Yes, for yeah. the old people. Uh, uh, we have old people at home uh, also, and uh, mm, we should take good care of them. And uh, uh, I think the most important thing is to show our respect. Uh, I know some old people can't understand why uh, do we stay at home. They want to see their old friends. Uh, we use video phones uh, every day for uh, old people. And uh, another thing important is uh, to uh, recognize who's in charge of the family and uh, uh, the responsibility for everyone at the, uh, fam in the family. Uh, what should be done for the old people and what's, uh, what's the responsibility and what's their duty uh, in the family. No one is uh, resting, just resting is no good. Uh, everyone should coordinate, should uh, work at home, should do their uh, responsibilities. Uh, keep doing this, keeping busy uh, is very good for emotional management. And uh, another thing is to appraise them uh, for their effort, for their support, uh, respect. Uh, this is very, very important. Uh, with respect, they will follow uh, your suggestions. If you don't respect them, uh, the uh, consequence will be disaster, I think. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor, for your uh, valuable um, you know, suggestions and advice. Uh, I think we have come to the end of the session. Uh, thank you, Dr. Fang and Dr. Yang for the wonderful session and uh, thank you Maxine for uh, leading us through this uh, session and we really enjoyed uh, the session here right and uh, once again thank you all uh, especially the doctors who have uh, taken time out from their busy schedule to join this session
we really appreciate your interest in this uh, important, very important issue. Uh, I think by tomorrow you will be receiving a survey asking for feedback on this event. Your insight will really help us to shape the future events uh, such as this and help us in the planning um, of the, follow uh, the future sessions. Also, we will send you a link of the recording of this event and uh, so that you can share it with your uh, uh, friends and colleagues uh, for their learning. Uh, the significance of the sharing of this research is very, very important uh, now more than ever, which is why we want you to help in any way that we can. Uh, on behalf of the entire team at Tracto and we doctor and from the doctors from Wuhan, we thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this information and dialogue valuable in fighting this battle. I think together we can all win this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, I think that this the meeting concludes. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yes. Thank you, Dr. AJ. And um, before we yes, end, I, I yes, Maxine. To, yes, I want to uh, have an announcement before uh, before we end this lecture. And sure, please, sure, 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 Maxine. Yes, please, dear dear medical colleagues, uh, please pay attention that all this content in today's communication only provides to be general health information and it cannot be used directly as a doctor's advice or medical diagnosis. Please judge carefully according to the actual situation and seek medical advice offline if necessary. Yes, it just, um, it just a little bit um, uh, uh, an announcement that, that, that we want to want everybody to know. And we all wish you good luck and and thank you all for this effort. Thank you. Thank you, Maxine. Yes. Once again, Dr. Fang, Dr. Yang, and Maxine, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Bye.